guys, today we're going to be doing a self-defense technique. You know what, it's really, really good for sport as well, but we're going to put the emphasis on the self-defense. And I'll show you a couple of little tricks along the way that help out for the sport situations. And it's versus a rear bear hug. We're not going to worry about the partner lifting us just yet. I'm going to cover that in another video. But what if somebody comes from behind and bear hugs you? Okay, so if I have Steve behind me right now, he bear hugs, face, work his arm, turn him around, sit, spin, step over into a kimura. So let's go on to the first part of it. When Steve's behind me, the first thing I need to do when he grabs is to base. And the reason why is you can see when he's behind right now, if I don't base, Steve can lift me up. Okay? I have it's not good for me. So as soon as I feel this grip, I want to base, now when Steve goes to lift, it's going to be much more difficult if he is able to do it at all. It's kind of like reaching into the trunk of your car and trying to lift something heavy up. Very, very awkward. Now, what I want to do is see which hand is on top. Whatever hand's on top, I want to push on the thumb, not on the wrist. If Steve holds on very strong, I can't even get a good grip right now on the, on the wrist at all. On the thumb, I can push the thumb inside the hand. Now, that's going to help a little bit, but that's not the focus of it. The focus is his elbow. So I have my base, I want to hook his elbow with the back of my wrist right here. As I hook, I'm going to lift his elbow away from his hips. Now that's going to make him a lot weaker. Now if Steve keeps his elbows in tight, I can put my hand there, hook, and I lift. Now I can start to, to uh, weaken his grip. The distance from his elbow is, uh, to his hip is getting a lot bigger, makes him weaker. So again, I got my base, I put my hand into the right position, I hook his elbow and I start turning to get my hands into position. Now, when I'm here, I'm going to push. Sometimes you may feel you have to run around and you have to run around. That's fine. That's, that's not a worry at all. But what I'm trying to do is push on Steve's elbow so much that his hip, he wants to bring his hip to his elbow. So he'll run around as I turn him. So it's kind of like stirring a big pot. You got a big uh, called here in front of me, I hook, grab again, hook, and I steer him around. Now, next little thing is, my elbow is on top of his shoulder. That is actually a really important detail. So if Steve's behind me here, base, hand on the thumb, hook the elbow, turn around, and then my elbow is right on top of his shoulder, and my foot is going to go inside of his leg. So what I'm looking here is elbow, shoulder, hip. I want to make a sandwich. I don't want any space here. And that's where you're going to have trouble with the flip. So I want to keep this tight. Now, if you see my posture right now, Steve doesn't have a lot of weight on it. He can stand up and bend me back over. Okay? And yeah, go for single legs, all that jazz. If I put my elbow down, it lifts his hand up. So now it makes it much more difficult for Steve to stand or even grab for a single leg. Okay? So the same angle from over here. Grab right here. I want that hand up high, my elbow on his shoulder, and then leg up on his leg. If I don't have a lot of pressure on the shoulder, he's going to grab my leg, and now I'm caught in a single leg with my arm caught inside, so you're going to be very, very mindful of that. So again, base, hook, turn, elbow. Now, the last part, the kimura, is what we're going to cover. When I land in side mount, I want to keep my hip on his shoulder the entire time. So you're going to get your partner sometimes tapping as you get to side mount, but sometimes you won't. Let's just get Steve to turn a little bit. We don't want them to sit up. So if I'm doing a kimura, Steve might sit up and then knock me backwards. So what I want to do is stop his head from sitting up. So I have my kimura grip. I step on the floor, but it's not really close because this doesn't stop his head from coming up. You know, I can get triangles and other things, but now I'm, I'm losing control of the situation. So what I really want to do is not just stop his head from sitting up, but I want to push his head to the side. So I have my grip, I switch my stance, step on the floor, and then watch the back of my thigh pushes on his head. This is going to stretch out his neck. It's going to make his shoulder a lot easier to submit, make him a lot weaker. Slightly different angle right here. You can watch his neck. I have the Kimura grip. I step over and I stretch with my hamstring, stretch his neck out. Now, I'm not even using the Kimura to turn. 
I'm not even doing this. I'm just stretching on his head. This is going to really affect the shoulder. So again, from standing. Base. And work the elbow. Turn. Sit. Into the kumaya. Super uh, important self-defense move to go. Now, some of the things that you can do to make it a little bit more interesting is when I start doing this, Steve uh, doesn't want me to run or to turn him around, so he might hang on to my hip. So if I try to turn him around, yeah, now he's stuck here. So I want to chase it and go into an arm bar. Okay, so I'm just going to extend his arm out and then down. Now, I have long arms, so it's very easy for me to try and press his arm out and hang, and hang on to my own grip. But some guys don't, so if you find you can't turn the guy, put the hand on your stomach, on your belt, whatever's not going to move, okay, so don't just have it float there. Put your stomach or hand on your stomach and push the arm out into your arm bar. Now to defend, he's going to tap or he'll start turning his hand, and now you can get into your position again. Okay, making sure, again, elbows on top of the shoulder, not up here. One last time. Here, I hook, I go to break, but he grabs my hip, okay? hands on my stomach, push his arm out, down. I'm just chasing the pinky if he turns into the convertible. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Yeah, it is a little bit more self defense. It does work for jiu jitsu on the ground for sport as well. So have some fun with this one. One of the reasons I love self defense standing techniques is I don't have as much control of my opponent. So if I can do the move on uh, standing without the ground helping me out, man, I can definitely do it on the ground with just some slight adjustments. Okay, study this one and have fun, see what you can do it on the ground. Thanks guys.